live wires are pretty dangerous. So today I'm going to make a detector that will allow me to detect whether I have a live wire or not. And yeah, let's do it. But can't you just test it with your hand? No. For this project, I'm going to do something very simple. When there's a live wire, it's going to turn an LED on. And when there's not a live wire, the LED will be off. Basic. But how will you do this, I hear you ask? Well, transistors. As a good engineer, I'm going to design this in LC Spice before I make the circuit in real life. Instead of using an LED, I've used a 1 kilo ohm resistor to represent the LED, mainly because I couldn't be bothered to set up the LED. All the fancy values on the left are essentially just the operating point of this circuit. The highlighted voltage shows that when 300 nanoamps are applied to the first transistor, 3.2 volts are put across the resistor. Next, I'll set the input voltage to zero, meaning that there'll be no current into the first transistor. This causes a negligible voltage across the resistor, meaning that if there were an LED there, it wouldn't be on. You might be wondering, well, why are you making this? And the answer is because I can, but also because of this guy, Electro Boom. And I've really been watching a lot of his videos recently and they make me understand electronics better and they're really funny. So I thought it'd be good to replicate what he's doing. Time to make it real. So here are the two BJTs, Bipolar Junction Transistors. Essentially they have three terminals, a collector, emitter and base. And when a current is applied to the base, a larger current proportional to the current applied is driven between the collector and the emitter. So essentially if I apply a current here, more current will flow through this transistor and because I've hooked this up to a second transistor. This will amplify it further, allowing me to turn this LED on. So let's uh, have a look. So I turn the power on, notice the LED is off. Now if I connect this wire to the terminal, see the LEDs coming on? Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? Well, that was shit quality, so uh, let's have a look at it in the dark instead. So here's the wire, I'm going to connect it to live and hopefully there we go, the LED turns on, noticeably turns on. You might be wondering what this capacitor is for. Well, essentially this capacitor smooths out the voltage over this LED, because I was noticing there was a lot of noise in the signal, so it was randomly flickering on for very short periods of time, and this essentially stops that from happening. To detect a live wire from the mains, all I have to do is connect this to a plate, like so. So this piece of foil will act as a capacitor with the live wire. And as we know, AC voltages um, can pass through a capacitor. So that means that an AC current can go through here and this can power the transistor just as it did before. Time for testing. Why won't this f***ing work? Yeah, apparently it does work. It's just that the plug that it's connected to is drawing no current, so... Now this is an interesting demonstration as to why you should always turn your plugs off. And if you're hoping I'm going to get electrocuted, then I'm sorry to disappoint you. But no, seriously, look. When the switch is off, the LED struggles to turn on. So this piece of foil was leeching off the mains power supply. Nice. Some people would say that this looks like a piece of shit, and you'd be right, it does look like a piece of shit, but it works, and it's a really good use, or, well, not really good use, it's a terrible use of transistors. It's a really good demonstration of the power of the BJTs. So, thank you for watching this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, all those normal things, and see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.